Okay, Cancer, let's have a look and see who's coming in for you for romance, love, and relationships. For the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, who's coming in for Cancer? Who's coming towards you for love? Oracle of Love for Singles. Okay, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here with the Queen of Wands. This is someone who's quite spiritual, someone who's quite naturally talented. I feel like they have fire energy. They have a zest for life. There's passion associated with this person. They could possibly have a creative pursuit of some kind here. Um, I feel like they've got fiery energy. So I feel like their personality, they're very outgoing, they're very outspoken, and they're very, very driven, especially when it comes to things, um, you know, driven towards life goals, driven towards career goals, driven towards love. Um, I feel like they're a very affectionate person. They're very open to people's ideas. They're not um, very narrow-minded. I see like they're quite receptive and responsive to people's ideas. Um I think they've got a lot of love to give. They do have a big heart um, and they do want to help people. But I feel like if you step on their toes, um, there's someone that will let you know. You know, the Queen of Wands can be seen as quite dominant and direct. So I feel like when the occasion calls for it, he can. So this person can step up. Um, as I said, they have that fire. So they've got a bit of feistiness. They have an edge to them. Um, is what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Wands. She's here playing the harp. So I feel like um, this person is, it's almost like they have something to do with a melody here um, or a song. So I'm not sure if they're creative, um, if they're in music um, or performing in some regard here. I feel like they try to make the most out of every situation that comes their way. Um, I feel like they try to be very optimistic most of the time. Um, I feel like they could work possibly in the music or production industry, um, you know, in marketing maybe, advertising. It's sort of like a production atmosphere maybe they, um, they might be working in. The Queen of Wands is often seen as a Leo as well. So it's someone that could be very nurturing but at times very dominant, um, you know, and even a little bit ruthless here as well actually. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel as though this person has a lot of stability in their life, especially in regards to their career. Um, what I'm seeing here is that there's something growing around them. This could be finances, this could be investments. Um, I feel like the two of you may be connected or may meet through career somehow with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, there's stability coming in with this person. I feel like they've, they're have they open to love. They may be single right now and just open to different kinds of romances or maybe dating unsuccessfully, I think, for the most part. Um, what I'm seeing here is that you're currently possibly already working towards love with this person. So for some of you, this isn't someone brand new. You already know them. You're already intertwined in some way here. There's already consistency between the two of you. So there's a basis for love here. There's a foundation. So for some of you, this is a friend or someone that has been a constant in your life in some regard. <clears throat> but it could absolutely be through career that the two of you do connect. I feel like they're wanting stability or they do have stability around them. I think they're concentrating on their career or finance goals um, or working their way up and trying to get themselves established with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're a little bit more methodical um, and they don't always jump to things, jump into things hot-headedly. I feel like they do have a quite a rational side to them as well. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy again. Um, again, concentration on career. Um, I think for some of you, you're going steady with this person, whether you're aware of it or not, Cancer. There's definitely an earth sign that you're, you're, it's almost like you're venturing towards a relationship. For some of you, it is someone brand new as indicated by the ace. It is a new long-term relationship, a new offer. Um, I do feel like if this person is, is has the ace of pentacles around them, there is money or assets or wealth in the physical realm around them. There's the notion of abundance. There's the notion of plenty around them. So I think they are concentrating on their finances or on their money. They have finances around them in some regards, so they make, make things happen for people and be rewarded financially for doing this. 
but you know there's there's growth and there's nurturing um that is around them right now so i feel like there's 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 a lot of growth around them that's happening at this point in time he cancer i do think there's an emphasis on money and stability yes I also feel like they're receiving a lot of offers right now in their life. And I think you're one of these offers here. Um, I feel like the universe is offering them something. Um, and I think it's you, to be honest. Okay, the judgment card. This is a card of liberation, independence, freedom, change, metamorphosis, karma, accepting the judgment of one person. Um... I feel like this person is a good judge of character with the judgment card. Or I feel like they form very um, pragmatic judgments about people. I don't think they're very harsh. Um, they could be sometimes if you experience, you know, their fire, that sort of, um, you know, other side to them, maybe he can. So, but I think for the most part with the judgment card, this is karma that's sending you this person. I feel like they may in some capacity in their life provide judgment to other people. Now, this could be that in their center of friends or in their family circle um, or even in the professional sphere, there's someone that is very well respected and someone that is sought out for their advice or their solace. Um, or their guidance. So I'm seeing this person to be the protector or the carer in some capacity here, that the person that people go to to get judgment um, because of their state of mind, because they think the way they think things through, people seek them out for judgment. But I also feel like judgments or karmic lessons have come to this person in their recent past and they're changing who they are. You know, the judgment card can be about evolving and you can see with the butterflies here, the flowers, this is things opening up and evolving and change is associated with the butterfly, which is metamorphosis. I think this is what this person is currently going um, under. There's also contracts or legalities around this person. So they may work for the government, um, legal firms, um, you know, they may be in a position where they maybe critique or review. I feel like their judgment is sought after. And as I said, it can be in the personal sphere, absolutely can be in the professional sphere as well um, with the judgment card. Four of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Energy. I love the Four of Wands. This is traditionally seen as the marriage card. I feel like this person has been thinking about marriage or has recently left a marriage um, or is wanting someone to marry. I feel like they could be quite traditional in a sense that they want these things for themselves. Um, the Four of Wands is quite a beautiful disposition. I think this person, it just sort of reiterates, as I mentioned, this person is quite optimistic, is quite easygoing for the most part, um, is quite happy or tries to make the best out of a situation here. They're honestly very truthful. Um, you know, the four of ones, I feel like there's this person pursues anything that makes them happy. Um, and I feel like they could provide, you know, it's almost like they're a ray of sunshine. So they glow in a way, maybe through their looks, their personality, their charm, just who they are, their energy. I feel like they have a really good energy about them, Cancer. It's a very uplifting energy with the four of ones. And you can see you know, these animals galloping into the sunset. So there's a lot of happiness. I feel like this person is destined for good things in their life, for things that can bring them a lot of genuine happiness is what I'm seeing with the four of wands. Um, again, it's people, people like to celebrate around this person or this person is quite social. Um, they like to celebrate. They attend a lot of festivities. I think they have a very large social circle um, because of their personality. They're very easygoing and they appeal to a lot of different people. And as a result, they befriend people from many different walks of life is what I'm seeing with the four of ones. But there's something about marriage or engagement possibly around this person. Okay, the Fool, sometimes seen as the Aries here with the Fool card. I feel like sometimes this person helps people or sometimes this person acts like the Fool and needs to incorporate their better judgment in terms of a situation here. I do believe the Fool can, can be seen as a bit of a thrill seeker, a little bit of a nomad. So I feel like this person is craving stability. If they don't have it in their life, they're wanting stability. I think oftentimes they've taken chances on people. Um, 
and they've been had they've had to be held back in a way because I feel like it's it's their judgment has come in or someone else's judgment has come in and stopped them from making certain decisions. So I think that there is a naive side to this person, maybe a more sensitive or more gullible side to them. I think they don't always practice what they preach because I think they don't always have that better judgment. Maybe they're learning. I did say change in metamorphosis, so maybe they're learning to adapt better judgment in terms of life situations and love situations as well. But I feel like they're a hopeless romantic. When they're in love, they're in love. They're like a fool in love, um, so to speak. But this can also exhibit a more adventurous side to this person. Maybe they're a bit of a thrill seeker. You know, they could like extreme activities, extreme sports, anything that really gets their adrenaline pumping as well. Um, with the full card here, they could love adventure, travel, wanderlust, and taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, so to speak. Three of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy again with the Three of Wands. The decisions they're making around themselves now are going to impact their long-term and distant future with the Three of Wands. I feel like they're setting out on some sort of journey here. A journey of spiritual enlightenment, a physical journey, moving homes, relocating, moving abroad, moving to a different country. The Three of Wands is setting out on a journey here and it's all about there's still a long way to go. For some of you, you're going to meet this person whilst they're on their journey. I think they're setting out on a journey now if this person is new. And somewhere along the road, somewhere down the stream here, there you'll be, Cancer. You'll be waiting for them. And I think you're going to meet them when they're on this journey because they have the butterflies, there's change, there's enlightenment. Um, I think there is massive changes going on around this person's life in different areas of their life. And for some reason, I do believe you're going to be a part of that journey here, um, cancer with the three of wands it can indicate travel it can indicate um setting out on this journey possibly even a third party situation here so i feel like for this person there could be two people that come in one will be you cancer and one might be someone else um, but i do believe there's changes impacting them right now especially in their long-term um, distant future but they do have a lot of long-term goals that they're working towards at this point in time. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy here with the Three of Pentacles. This is negotiation, sacrifice, and compromise. Right now, I feel like this person is juggling a lot. They are receiving the support they need, but in terms of career, finance, or something like this, I think they're still trying to find firm footing. Um, they're trying to hit the ground running is what I'm seeing here, but also I feel like they're needing support of some kind here. So A, they could be in a very supportive role just as a person. They could be that person people go to, as I've mentioned. Or there's something to do with a bit of a juggling act here. You can see that she's trying to manage everything that's happening around them. So for some, I, I still feel like this person is dealing with someone from their past. It could be like an ex-spouse and they have children together. But they're trying to find some sort of stability here, Cancer. So I think patience need to be ex needs to be exercised in this, in this sort of time frame with them with the Three of Pentacles. But look, there is two threes. You do have the full card with this person here too. So for some, I feel like there's possibly another person around them. Could be an ex or it could be another love interest. It could also be career or priorities towards career that are actually intervening in your relationship, in the development um, of your relationship with this person. Let's have a look and see how and when you'll meet. Okay, the Queen of Wands come up twice, the Strength card. Page of Pentacles, definitely a lot of Leo energy here. The Queen of Wands could very well indicate the time of Leo that the two of you meet or start to connect in a romantic way. Uh, this rules roughly the time of July 23rd, August 22nd, give or take a few days. It's come up twice here, so there's a very strong emphasis around the time of Leo. So I think for a lot of you Cancers out there, this time will be very, very auspicious for you. The Queen of Wands can also rule movement and spirituality. So this person could come into your life where you're becoming more spiritually enlightened, maybe dabbling in spirituality, meditation, astrology, esoteric arts, clairvoyancy, a mysticism. This could indicate this is when this person is coming in. It could be, you know, um, maybe when you're involved in white magic or superstition um, as well with the Queen of Wands. Um, or even a time when you're moving or relocating as well here, Cancer. Leo has come up yet again with the Strength card. So again, those dates, um, you know, it's come up three times actually. So for some of you, it's definitely a significant time for you in regards to love. Um, but the Strength card, it's going to come at a time when you're feeling the most 
strong or you're needing to be the most strong or you're needing the most strength he can so, so this could be they could come at a time when you're working on your physical fitness they could come into your life at a time when you're working on your mental strength they could work at a, um they could come in at a time when you're working on your existing skills and trying to master your existing skills in, in your personal life in your business life or something like this um but it really is you'll have a natural inclination towards this person, a natural attraction, a natural connection that will draw the two of you in very, very nicely here. It could be at places like the gym as well, um, walking your dog or pet. Um, you know, maybe animals bring you together um, are actually the medium by which the two of you meet. So for some, this could be a meeting that takes place like that. Uh, page of pentacles is here so for some it could be through career again it's quite a stable energy that comes with the page of pentacles so for some of you i think you're friends with this person already he cancer and perhaps you haven't considered them in a romantic sense before um but the page of pentacles come with admiration admiration and fixation so i almost feel like for some of you you've been fixated on this person or this person has been fixated on you cancer for quite a while um, there's a lot of admiration, inspiration, or intriguing um, energy from this person. So I think they're very intrigued by you. They're definitely very physically attracted with the Page of Pentacles. So as I said, it could be through career. It could be through a place of commerce, wealth, business that the two of you meet. Um, you know, maybe this person is doing some services for you, or maybe you're meeting at a bank or something like this. Um, moving on the ten of wands it is a time when that you're going to embark on a lot of physical activity or you have a lot on your plate here cancer i feel like work wise i feel like this could be you, you might meet at a time when you have a lot on your plate work wise there's a lot of added roles and responsibilities on the job maybe you're renovating maybe you're physically doing a lot of manual labor but it's burdensome energy the ten of wands so i feel like you're going to be inundated you've got a lot happening when this person comes into your life and i can see that you're going to try to be strong towards the development of this relationship you know so i think you're just going to have to be patient and consistent with it but i do see with the ten of wands some of you are meeting possibly near like a building site um possibly near a place where there's manual labor. I feel like for some of you, this person, you, you might be meeting near like a job site or something like this near a construction site for some of you. Um, or it, I feel like this person is going to be working while you meet. So it could definitely be on the job. If you don't work in the same industry, you could be going to their industry to seek some sort of services. And that's actually how the two of you start to connect this way as well. So I will leave it at that cancer.